Hey friends, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I am Atish Jain. I am working as a data scientist here in Gurgaon, India. In today's video, I will teach you how to create an interactive dashboard using Python. An interactive dashboard is a great way to share insights from the data and the results of your data science projects. Of course, we have different tools in BI such as Power BI and Tableau which we can use for creating dashboards. But using Python, we have the flexibility to create a lot of different types of visualization and we can also customize our video however we want. For this visualization project, we will be using a data set from Kaggle about worldwide suicide records overview from the 1985 to 2016. If you want to customize your project to make it of your own portfolio project, please feel free to pick any other data set of your choice. So before we start, let's Take a look at some of the popular visualization platforms and libraries in R and Python. This graph shows different dashboarding tools and their popularity over time. Over the past few years, Dash and Streamlit have gained a lot of more popularity as dashboarding solutions in Python. However, these two have their own pros and cons, so it's important for us to know when to use which. If you are working with Jupyter Notebook for your project, Voila and Panel are the two libraries that support working with Jupyter Notebooks, which means you can turn your notebook into a dashboard. As I will be working on Jupyter Notebook for this project, I am going to use Panel. So what the heck is Panel? Panel is an open source Python library that lets you create custom interactive web apps and dashboards by connecting user-defined widgets to plot images, tables, or text. Panel is developed by Anaconda. Okay, that's a lot of information. If you're still hanging in there, then let's now really get our hands dirty and get started with our project. First of all, let's create a project folder for our dashboard and then go into this folder and launch Jupyter Notebook. We will be working with two libraries, namely HPplot and Panel. Let's install HPplot and Panel. Now let's go back into the Jupyter Notebook and import the necessary libraries, namely Pandas, NumPy, Panel, HVPlot, and an extension which is tabulator for creating interactive tables. Now let's read the data set that we want to use. As you can see, for X country in the world and for each year in the history, we have the data for suicide rate per year. Let's print out the data and the data input. We can see different columns which are country, year, sex, age, suicide number, population, GDP, etc. We can brainstorm on what kind of visualization we want to build in our dashboard and how exactly we want our dashboard to look like. I want our dashboard to have a header and a sidebar with some text and overall settings and control widgets. Then in the main body of the dashboard, we can have a few different visualizations. First of all, we can visualize the suicide per 100k people over time and across gender and age. Next to this visualization, we can add a plot of world map using GeoViews for suicide per 100k people for different country. Next graph, it could be interesting to select different country and plot the suicide rate over time. In the last visualization, we can plot the amount of suicide rate for different country and across gender and age. So we can have a comparison of which country had the highest suicide rate. Going back to our notebook, I am today running out of time, so I will walk you through the code and not do the full life coding. Anyways, first of all, we do some data analysis to see what are the columns and the data types. Now we need to make our data frame interactive by calling this interactive method on our data frame. Next, we want to create a few widgets for our visualization. The widgets are the interactive elements on our dashboards like sliders, radio buttons, or drop-down manuals that the user can use to configure our visualization. If you go to the panel's documentation page, you can see a lot of different types of widgets you can create. For example, slider radio button and also how exactly to create them. So here we go. I have checked for the minimum and maximum value of the year in our data set. So I have put them here. Next. We will do some data processing by cleaning GDP per year column, which is in a string format with comma in it. Now for our first view, we will group by on year to create suicide per 100k people and GDP per capita. 
Next, we want to create a radio button widget for the different measures in the y-axis of our first chart. In this case, I am interested in suicide per 100k people and GDP per capita. So I include them here. Now, we need to connect the data pipeline with the widget so that every time the widget is switched, the underlying data for our visualization is also updated. So here, I just select only the years that are before the year value in this slider. And then we aggregate the data by year column. So here is what the data pipeline looks like. Now let's move on to create the chart using the data pipeline. It's very simple, just one line of code and you can see that our chart is interactive as we are moving the slider. Similarly, we do these steps to get gender and age-wise suicide rate over the years. Moving now, let's load GeoPandas data to get location of different countries in the world map. Next, we group by on country to get country-wise average suicide rate and merge this with the GeoPandas dataset. Now, we will use the library folio to create GeoView. We will see that the title of the chart and uh, any other detail that we want to mention as the header is passed on as the parameters to the coroplant function. Now we can see that we have the geo view and on hovering over the graph over the chart, we can see different suicide rate for different country. Proceeding further, we will create our next visualization. First for a country level suicide rate and then aggregating at gender and age for different countries. In the last visualization, we will create a different widget to select countries from the drop down. Next, we will filter data from our interactive data frame based on the selected country and we will also use the year selected from the slider. We will have the tabular view for this along with the line plot which to see suicide per 100 people over time for the selected country. So now that we have created all the visualization that we need, the last step would be to create the dashboard, which is simply putting all the visualization together in one page. Luckily, Panel has a lot of dashboarding templates that allows us to put very easily all the visualizations together. I will use the fast list template and we can define here the title, the sidebar, sidebar which is the panel left. On the dashboard, we can add here the text or the images and a markdown format. Next, we define the main body of the dashboard. So the whole concept is very similar to how we design websites. So everything can put in rows and columns as our dashboard has four rows. Now, I will create the first row where we will have two columns, one for the worldwide chart and other for gender and age chart. For the second row, we will use the geo view. And now, after we define the template, we just need to make it serviceable. Now we can actually serve this dashboard by going into the terminal and using the command panel serve. So yes, this is our dashboard. It doesn't look bad, right? And we can play with it by moving the slider and click on different panels and tabs. I will push all the code to my GitHub and also share it with you in the description below. So you can take a look into it more detail and use it to make your own project. So if you get any value from this video, please click the like and subscribe buttons to support my channel. And thank you for watching. Bye-bye.